first graders, it's Miss Huntley. Today we're gonna talk all about oceans. Let me get out of this gear and then we'll start our learning. Now that I have my gear off, let's learn about the ocean. The ocean is a huge habitat. If you remember, a habitat is a place where plants and animals live and grow. A habitat needs four things for the plants and animals. It needs food, water, shelter, and space or air for them to grow and play. Now, the ocean is filled with lots of different types of food. There are different small plants and animals for bigger ones to eat. There is also a ton of water in the ocean. It's filled with it. Now you might be wondering, Miss hmm, Huntley, how is there air in the ocean? It's filled with water. I can't breathe underwater. That's why I needed my snorkel before. Well, that's a special characteristic of animals that live in the ocean. They're able to take the oxygen or air that's in water and breathe it in. That's why fish have gills. There's also a lot of space in the ocean. It's huge. Oceans take up 70% of Earth. That's way over half of Earth filled with oceans. That's why it's one of the biggest habitats. Finally, there are lots of different shelters in the ocean. Some small animals use plants as their shelter. They might hide in coral or even seaweed. Other bigger animals might use underwater caves or rocks to hide. Now, like I said, the ocean is huge. There are millions of different animals that live there. The biggest animal, the, big, the blue whale, lives in the ocean. It's the biggest mammal in Earth. The smallest animals also live in the ocean. There's something called zooplankton that lives in the ocean where you need a microscope to be able to see. It's pretty cool. Now, the ocean is so big that there are a lot of different smaller habitats within it. The ocean has some parts that are really dark and cold and other parts that are light, warm, and full of plants. Some animals prefer the dark, cold areas and others need the light to live and grow. Let's talk about some of these different habitats. Coral reefs are one of the habitats in the ocean. Coral reefs are in shallow, tropical, or warm waters. Coral reefs are home to many of our favorite ocean animals like seahorses, sea turtles, and even clownfish and other tropical fish. A lot of what you saw in Finding Nemo was a coral reef. Coral reefs are made of coral, which are actually alive. Coral is made up of something called polyps, which are actually a relative of jellyfish. Lots of different animals use coral for their shelter to hide from their predators. The coral polyps are alive and they grab onto their food and suck it in, kind of like tentacles. Now coral is very sensitive. If there's a temperature change in the water, the coral can die. That's why we need to protect our coral reefs. Another habitat is kelp forests. A kelp forest is another place that is in shallower waters, but this time it's colder. A lot of small fish and animals hide in the big kelp from their predators. Animals like seals and whales and shorebirds use kelp forests as their habitat. Another habitat is the open ocean. In the middle of the ocean, it can get very, very deep, miles deep even. At the very bottom, it's dark and there's not a lot of oxygen, but that's the perfect habitat for some types of ocean animals. Other really big animals live in the open ocean. It gives them more space to swim around as there's miles and miles of open space with nothing in the way. These are just three types of ocean habitats, but there are more. Your next activity is to listen to a read aloud book. This book is gonna tell us about more animals that live in the ocean, that call it their habitat. When you're done reading, you'll go to the next slide. On that slide, it says ocean at the top, and there's a blank picture of water. On there, your job is to draw five animals that live in the ocean. Now you can draw it using the seesaw drawing tools 
or you can choose to draw on a piece of paper and take a picture and put it on that page. You get to choose which one you want to do. After that, you're going to move on to activity two. I'm gonna explain activity two a little bit because it's a little confusing. In activity two, you get to go on a virtual field trip. That means that you're gonna go on an online field trip to the aquarium. There are two options. You can choose the Georgia Aquarium or the Monterey Bay Aquarium, or you can go to both. You're gonna click on the stars, which will bring you to their websites. There, you, gotta watch, you get to watch live cameras of their different ocean animals, and you get to read and learn more about them. When you're all done on your virtual field trip and done exploring, you'll go to the next slide. On that slide, it'll tell you to tell your teacher using the microphone tool, two facts that you learned today. I can't wait to hear more of what you learned. I hope you enjoy our book, doing your drawing, and going on your virtual field trip. Have fun first graders.